Hey, Taurus, what's up? What's going on, Taurus? Are you ready for March's reading? I am. I want to see what this is all about. Um, I really do. I want to see what this is all about. I've already laid it out. I didn't do all the shuffling and everything like I always do. Um, and uh, it's ready to go. I'm doing it kind of the way I used to do it just because um, for time, right? For time. I just want you all to see your reading and um, go to the extended if you want to. And there will be an extended to this. It's not necessarily an extended reading. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't even know what it's going to be about yet because I haven't really dove full force into this reading. But um, there will be either an additional reading, something related to this. There, there will be some kind of additional reading, $2.50 in the link in the box below if you would like to um, follow me over there. All right, so this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus, the collective of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you don't have Taurus in your chart, this reading may resonate with you too, to be honest. All right. Um, just because you may see yourself in this reading does not mean that these are your cards or this is your story. Okay. Um, that's not the way that this works. The general tarot card readings, it's all about the planetary positioning and what's going on in your planetary position. Like for example, um, Uranus is in Taurus, right? Um, if Taurus is in your career sector, then Uranus is in your career sector. If Taurus is in your family sector, then Uranus is in your family sector, right? And because of what's going on in the planets, that creates energies and circumstances and situations. Um, and the tarot cards are reflecting that general generality, generality. <laughs> the tarot cards are reflecting that. Okay. Um, and uh, it's just a general overall picture. The only way to know your real story is to have your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com or reach out to anybody that floats your boat and get your cards read, okay? All right, so as long as y'all promise me you're not going to make any life-altering decisions based on any kind of general tarot card reading, we will move forward and we'll see what these cards have to say, okay? All right, so... Taurus. Two minutes and 30 seconds in if somebody wants to drop a timestamp. Um, Taurus, you enter into this reading with the two of wands in reverse. This is, don't know which way to go. It, you're, you're facing some kind of crossroads in your life and you don't know where to go. It's fear of the unknown is really, um, or poor planning, but it's fear of the unknown that's really happening here, right? Um, so you're kind of in limbo. You just don't know what to do about yourself because of the devil. You're at an indecisive cross point, okay, because of the devil right here. This devil represents an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Who or what this devil is, is all about your own personal situation, okay? I don't know who this is. I can't tell in a general reading, but there is something in your it's not in your heart because the two of wands is fire energy, right? Um, it's in your inspiration. It's in your passion. It's in your excitement level, your hopefulness maybe. Okay. And there is an attachment that is restricting you from choosing, from choosing which path to go down. Okay. It's in reverse though. So this way you're all hopeful and looking out into the future and you're, you're making plans and making moves, right? In the reverse, it's about being indecisive and not really knowing what you want to do with your future, but it doesn't come from the feelings or the mind or your sense of security. It comes from your inspirations and your passions, right? What do you want to dedicate that fire to? And you're at a crossroads right there. Twos or twos or twos, no matter what suit they're in, they all mean a crossroads, right? And then we have the old devil, right? This guy, this guy um, is the, the root of why you are at a crossroads. The Hierophant in reverse comes on top and talks about um, reevaluating your belief system. See, the Hierophant in the upright is all about um, um, who you should be, what you should be doing, um, what you should 
be to everybody else. That's the Hierophant upright, right? Institutionalism, the family, the work, the school, that kind of thing, religion, right? But in the reverse, it's about releasing those rigid belief systems and embracing a different way of thinking, a different way of dictating yourself, okay? To the two of wands in reverse. Again, this is talking about um, the crossroads. So you're at a major car crossroads. It's confirmed like all the way around. You're at a major crossroads and you need to drop what you believe about something in order for you to be free to turn that two of wands upright, okay? At a crossroads, needing to reevaluate what you think about something that's very important in your life. Okay, then we have the Two of Pentacles. This Two of Pentacles, this is about balancing and prioritization. And see, you know that here in um, this first stack of cards, right? Because you're the Hierophant. Taurus is the Hierophant. And you know that about yourself, that you must release something. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Or if you're just coming into this whole thing, what you're about to know right? So um, you, you know that you need to balance and prioritize. But the high priestess says you're disconnected from your intuition, right? You're trying to feel your way through the situation, but you're having a hard time. You're maybe hitting a block or something and you just can't seem to use enough intuition or to use enough of your subconscious mind to really make a solid decision about something that is holding you back. Okay, the page of swords comes in. This is about um, this is about communication, um, and I don't think you're formulating a thought pattern here. I think this. I think yeah. Look, the five of cups, right? Loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. You are waiting on communication. I think. I think you're waiting on communication and you're really, really bummed out that it's not coming in. You're really bummed out. You're waiting on communication and you're really bummed out that it's not coming in or you put out some kind of little communication and you're really bummed out because you're not getting a response. Okay. Yeah. Look, look. The Ace of Swords to the Two of Cups. You want, oops, Ace of Swords came first. You are waiting on some mental clarity about a significant relationship in your life. If it's not a love relationship, it's definitely a partnership of some kind. And that's what you're waiting on. That's the holdup. That's what this devil is, right? So this devil energy right here is representing this two of cups relationship, the attachment that is the restriction to your personal growth. Spirit says it right here in the major arcana. And Taurus is all at a crossroads, an upside down crossroads going, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I've been waiting on this for a good long minute, so much so that I'm starting to doubt myself with the high priestess in reverse right here. So much so I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm either waiting on communication and, and I'm disappointed and uh, lost, regret, despair, disappointment, right? I mean, they're waiting on the communication and it's not coming in and I'm disappointed or I put out communication and the response I got was disappointing or I got no response and I'm disappointed. However, I'm waiting on truth about a significant relationship in my life. That's what Taurus is saying, right? This is what Taurus is telling me right here. The five of wands. I am filled with conflict, right? I, I really am. I'm filled with conflict. Um, just dis disease, discourse in my life to the knight of wands in reverse. And I'm very frustrated. The fool in reverse comes in and says that you are uh, realizing that you are being quite foolish to wait on any kind of communication about a two of cups relationship with whoever this devil is over here. Okay. Seven of Pentacles in reverse tells us that there's been limited success or reward in the past, right? There's a lack of a long-term vision. There's been limited success and reward. And now Taurus is saying, I am a dumbass for even thinking that this shit could possibly go down. That's what Taurus is saying. 
I'm a dumbass for thinking that this could happen. The Ten of Wands, right? The burden and the struggle that you carry waiting on this information, you're getting ready to lay it down. You're getting ready to lay it down because there is accomplishment to his destination and he's almost there. And you're at that point right now. You're like, I'm tired of waiting. This isn't going to happen. I'm foolish. I'm a dumbass for even thinking that this could be right? And you're getting ready to throw down the big, huge pile of sticks right here. And you're like, not my circus, not my monkeys. I am done with this bullshit. That's what's happening because it's holding you up, right? It's hanging you up at the crossroads. Queen of Swords in reverse. You're salty. You're not just, you're not just disappointed. You're salty. You're like, you're, you're just, you're just salty, Taurus. So salty that the Eight of Cups follows it and says that you're so disappointed and you're so just done with the whole damn thing that you're just walking away. You're abandoning ship and you are just moving on down the road. And you know, the Eight of Cups, this guy isn't even angry. <laughs> he's not even angry. I mean, he's just like, fuck it. Just keep the cups and leave me alone. I'm, I'm out. I'm just, just keep the goddamn cups. Right. Right. That's what he's saying right there. Taurus salty saying, you know what? Screw this. I'm not doing it. The seven of swords, betrayal, deception, and deceit to the lovers in reverse. Could be some of y'all could be experiencing some kind of massive breakup. Okay. Some kind of massive breakup honestly, but you're waiting on communication of some sort about a significant relationship and you're either experiencing a breakup, about to experience a breakup, or this is something that has happened in the past, right? Okay. Okay. Seven of Swords, betrayal, deception, shady behavior to the lovers in reverse. This is the Two of Cups relationship that represents the devil back here, right? represents the devil because there's a misalignment of values and a breakup because of betrayal, deceit, deception, all the shady shit, right? That's the devil energy. That's the love relationship that you're waiting on. Okay. That's the love relationship that you're waiting on and you are done waiting and you're pissed off now pissed off now, right? You had hopes of teamwork and collaboration. You had hopes that this would all come together, but the nine of cups in reverse says it ain't your wish no more. It's not your wish. It's not your happiness. It ain't your wish no more. And you're cutting that shit out with the queen of swords in reverse. You're just like, Psst. The tower in reverse, a personal transformation, right? You're going through a personal transformation and you are finally, finally getting ready to squash this whole hope or idea that this significant relationship would come back into your life. Okay. So much so that you are the hermit in reverse in the center of your own, of this reading right here, right? Um, the hermit in reverse talks about isolation, withdrawal, disconnection, loneliness, right? You have made up your mind with this hermit in reverse that it's just, it, it's just forget about it. I mean, the hermit in reverse is like total hopelessness, right? To the hermit upright, the hermit upright talks about you spending a long time in the hermit energy, doing some soul searching and some introspection about this whole situation. And your decision is the hermit in reverse to withdraw and disconnect. What were you in the hermit energy contemplating about the three of swords in reverse, having some kind of forgiveness in a significant relationship and moving forward? the ace of wands in reverse, but it's, it's, um, it's weighed down, right? It's not happening. There is no new beginning to the five of pentacles. And you've made up your mind, Taurus, that you're just left out in the cold. It's just a state of despair and you're just leaving it out in the cold. You're being left out in the cold. None of this communication is coming into you. All the YouTube videos that you're watching are telling you that somebody's coming back into your life and it's Mercury rec retrograde, right? And somebody's coming back in and all that stuff. And Taurus is like, man, I ain't seen shit been manifested in this situation. <laughs> that's what you're doing, Taurus, right? <laughs> that's what you're doing. Oh, that's funny. 
<laughs> the three of cups in reverse, right? This is about stifled creativity. Number one, nothing's happening between the two of you. There is no forgiveness being had. There's no communication. Number two, um, you are unable to move on. And this whole situation is stifling the creativity of your whole life, right? To the two of pentacles in reverse. Your life is imbalanced because you are hanging on to this attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth with that devil card right there. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it didn't turn out like you thought it was going to turn out. And um, yeah, it didn't turn out like you thought it was going to turn out. To the Nine of Pentacles, and you're bringing it all to a culmination. You're taking your power back and you're putting the squash, the kibosh on the whole damn thing. Chariot in reverse. This is all about um, er, screeching it to a halt, right? Opposition, reverse, er, um, not going forward to the nine of wands because you're wore out. You've been persistent. You've been resilient and you have hung in there for a long time. You've been waiting for something to happen here and it's not happening and you're giving up, giving up, you're giving up again to the hangman in reverse. You're resistant, uh, to the two of cups in reverse. Anything, anything changing in this, in this imbalanced love relationship, partnership situation. Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action. You, the, nobody's talking at all to the Eight of Pentacles about building anything to the Five of Swords, betrayal, deceit, deception, um, trying to get away with something, uh, just, just not happening to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for a long time for a long time and you're you're tired of it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is about being stuck, right? You're stuck in this energy and you're done. You're tired of it. Prince of Pentacles, you're looking into your future now. You're looking into your future. You're assessing the landscape and making a plan as to what it is you are going to implement in your future to change this situation without this relationship. Eight of Swords in reverse says that you're releasing the mental imprisonment of this Ace of Swords right here, waiting for the truth, waiting for communication. Um, you're releasing it and you're open to change. You're open to new things in your life to the Ten of Cups in reverse because this, whatever this is for you, is not happening. It's not working and you need to move on with your life. These cards are clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is recovery, right? It's it's coming out of, of a painful ending. And it's recovery. You got a lot of tens flying around, honestly. Um, coming out of recovery, right? Two and fives and twos. Anyway, recovering, right? To justice. This is justice for you. You're putting it to rest. Um, a decision has been made and it's going to be executed. And this is justice. You are closing out this situation to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, because this is something that is never going to make for you. You've accepted the loss and you're moving on. Now we have this huge, gigantic thing of clarifying cards right here, right? So we'll take it from the bottom. Let's see. The King of Cups, your feelings, right? Your feelings to the Five of Swords. Um, your feelings have been hurt, okay? Your feelings have been hurt. Um, your feelings are in conflict. The Seven of Wands challenge. You fought for this for a good minute. You've challenged and you've fought for this for a good minute. What have you fought for? The Queen of Wands right here. Male, female, doesn't matter. This Queen of Wands is coming with the page of pentacles. They're coming with a message of, um, opportunity. They're coming with a message of opportunity. Why are they coming as, okay, well, hold on. It's still clarified by the lovers, right? This is a love. This is this miss, this lovers in reverse over here. That's what this is right here. And they're coming to you with a message. Okay. Coming to you with a message in the lover's energy. That's why they're coming as the queen of wands. Um, fire sign could be, doesn't have to be, but the queen of wands is seductive. Okay. Um, she's much softer than the king of wands. She is, um, not going to take no for an answer. She gets what she wants. 
right? And this person is coming to you, male or female, with an offer of an opportunity to the lovers to be in an important relationship. Five of wands in reverse and increased focus on goals. To the eight of cups in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse talking about um, walking away, right? There's an increased focus on goals where you have walked away. Yeah, that's what the message is about. Throws you into the Eight of Swords energy right there, right? Uh, in your head, like hard. <laughs> Eights are about movement and action and change. And Taurus is in their head going, what? What is happening? <laughs> Boom. The Wheel of Fortune. That's what's happening. This is a turning point in your destiny, Taurus. It's a turning point in um, your life, the situation. Um, it's, a, it's a turning point. It's a huge turning point. To the magician, a turning point that is going to, you know what? I'm just going to clarify this magician real quick. I'm just curious. Spirit, tell me about this magician. Tell me about this magician right here. Whoa. Holy fuck. I'm not kidding you, Taurus. Look, the six of cups reuniting and reconciling. This person wants to manifest reuniting and reconciling this person from your past. This devil, this love, significant partnership, business, whatever, family, relationship. They want to manifest reconciliation of the differences and reunite to temperance um, because things have changed now. Things have changed I don't know how else to say that it's about balance and moderation and patience and purpose. Um, things have changed in this temperance energy. And um, wow, to the high priestess, this is you, Taurus, in your head, thinking hard about what's going on here, trying to feel your way through this situation and... Um, really hitting your intuition hard in your subconscious mind and you're like oh my god I asked for clarification on that and i got the emperor to the ace of cups I'm not kidding you look at this the emperor to the ace of cups that's who we're talking about here the emperor the card of aries doesn't have to be an aries i'm just saying don't let the signs screw with you okay spirit doesn't give a shit what your sign is but anyway the emperor um, this is what you're thinking about. This is the this is the Queen of Wands that brought this message, okay? To the Ace of Cups, wants a brand new beginning in love. The Sun in reverse. This is um, it's it's being weighed down, and it's not being very optimistic. But it's also about your inner child as well. And I'm feeling something. Is it inner child? To the world in reverse. Closure. Maybe it's closure of wounds. Inner child. I don't know. But we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with that. It, uh, it, it weighs you down. Okay? Weighs you down. To the world in reverse. Um, because you've already closed this cycle of your life out. You've already closed it. We just talked about it down here, right? You've already closed it out. You've made the decision. Let me tell you. When Taurus makes a decision like that, it's it happens. It's, as, it's just like this. The light goes out and it's over. That's how Taurus works. So if you're cross-watching for a Taurus and this hasn't happened yet, you might want to get your cards read and see what it is that you need to do to keep this from happening, okay? Because when Taurus shuts it off, they shut it off. And that's what you're telling me right here, right? You're in the high priestess energy, really thinking about this, this offer of from this emperor um, about a new a new chance, right? But the world says you've already closed it out. Four of Swords in reverse because there's been a lack of progress. 
Four of Cups in reverse. You've already determined that this is a missed opportunity, a lost opportunity, and it's not going to happen. And lo and behold, coming in with the Three of Pentacles, wanting teamwork and collaboration to the Tower in reverse because of some kind of transformation to the Queen of Cups um, in their feelings about you to the Six of Cups, again, wanting to reunite and reconcile Hangman in reverse, resistance, delays, and stalling to the Knight of Cups. There's going to be messages about feelings and why it took them so damn long to come back, right? And they, they very well could be feeling the removal of the energy. Because like I said, when Taurus shuts it off, Taurus shuts it off, spins around and walks in the other direction. And that's the end of the story. So this Knight of Cups to the Hangman in reverse could be them scrambling to talk about um, why it's taken so long for them to come. Because when they do come, Taurus very well may be like, sorry, bro, <laughs> that ship has sailed and I am no longer on it. So sorry, right? Princess of Wands, this is excitement, enthusiasm, right? Um, that's what they're coming in with. Messages about, hey, hey, Taurus, hey, 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 look, this is what happened. It's a long story. It's a long story, but this is what happened, all right? Um, blah, 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 and 20 minutes later, but you know, I now I now I see the light and now I want to um, reunite and reconcile with you. That's what's happening here. Five of Pentacles in reverse says Taurus is in a state of spiritual poverty, though. Taurus is in the high priestess, subconscious mind, intuition in a state of spiritual poverty because the King of Swords comes in and says, you know what? I already cut this cord. I already cut this. I already unplugged from it and I'm so done with it. And no matter what truth you have to say, no matter what in communication is exchanged between us, I'm still holding up this sword and saying no more. It's done. It's over. Strength. This is representing being stubborn right here. This is representing um, being stubborn and holding your ground, standing your ground to the Page of Cups in reverse. This is no thank you. Page of Cups upright is a message, an invitation to create. Page of Cups in reverse is a big fat no thank you. Four of Swords in reverse. There's been a complete and utter lack of progress. Four of Wands in reverse. There's been a complete and utter breakdown in communication between us. Four of Pentacles, and now you just want me to uh, unravel myself and uh, and uh, jump because you're ready to go now? I don't think so. I don't think so. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what, Taurus? This is how the story ends right here, okay? The sun, happiness, success, vitality. The Ace of Wands, a brand new, passionate beginning. Death, an ending to the way things were, a transformation into the way things will be. Card of Scorpio. The Hierophant in reverse. This is Taurus releasing these limiting beliefs. See, these limiting beliefs up here. Hold on. Let me ask. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, Spirit, what are these? What's the hair? What's the hair fin in reverse? What's the hair fin in reverse? Tell me what the hair fin in reverse is. What is this hair fin in reverse about? What is the hair fin in reverse about? Is this about releasing limiting beliefs and going forward in this relationship? Or is this about releasing limiting beliefs and going your own way? Strength. Okay. All right. So this person comes in with messages of new beginnings and Taurus, Taurus leaves off right there with the four of pentacles going, Oh man, I don't know. 
I don't know. But then I asked for the outcome and it's the sun, happiness, success, and vitality in a passionate new beginning because there has been a complete transformation of the relationship, the Hierophant in reverse. There's been a com the death. It's been a complete transformation, the Hierophant in reverse in the way that you believe about this situation. Strength and you're strong on it. You, you are, you're strong on it, right? Page of Pentacles in reverse talks about lack of a long-term vision, short-term focus, not manifesting, not manifesting. So strength, the Hierophant in reverse, your personal beliefs, releasing personal beliefs, needing to be strong to release personal beliefs. Page of Pentacles. I got to ask. I'm sorry, Taurus. Hold on. <clears throat> better, better to ask than not. All they can do is say no, right? It wasn't fair. Okay, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. What, what do I do with this? Oh, there it is. It's the same freaking card. I hope you guys caught that on camera. This card flipped out and I wasn't ready. I wasn't focusing. I wasn't asking. So I put it back in the deck and lo and behold, it flipped out again. So the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is frustration, delays, not taking any kind of inspired action. Okay. 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 The sun, happiness, success, and vitality in a brand new beginning transformation of the situation, a transformation of the Hierophant in reverse, a transformation that results in the Hierophant in reverse, which is um, um, your beliefs changing, okay? Your beliefs changing. Strength. Needing strength. Having strength, not needing it, having strength to sort through whether you want to accept this opportunity or not to the Knight of Wands in reverse, holding off to the King of Swords until truth is spoken to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse about what happened in the first place. And then and only then will you be able to reunite with love. <laughs> Let's go through those again. Let's go through those again. One more time. One more time. All right. I'm going to ask something else. Sorry, Taurus. I'm stuck on this spot. I got to work my way through it. I'm sorry. So the Four of Pentacles to the Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah, this person, Taurus. So Taurus leaves off in the Four of Pentacles, right? I don't know what you're going to do. You might not even know what you're going to do, right? It's free will. Nobody knows what you're going to do. Um, so that's where you're at, right? You're like on lockdown mode. This message, okay, so you gave up. Totally and completely gave up on the whole thing. Shut that light switch out and moved on. And now this person is coming back. And I'm going to say they're going to come back in like a sexy kind of way. It's going to be a very playful um a very playful kind of message. Um, maybe they're going to text you like a joke or something, but it's going to uh, it's going to stir your fire, right, Taurus? It is. It's going to stir your fire because you've been waiting on this forever, right? And um, so they're going to come back, and they're probably coming back because of the energetic cut, right? A couple readings ago, maybe last reading or the reading before that for Taurus was about you removing your energy and them coming flying back to you. Um, and I guess this might be a precursor or some kind in context, somehow, some way to that reading. Okay. So anyway, so you cut the energy, you're moving on with your life. You're serious about it. And they come in with messages, heavy messages about wanting to reunite and reconcile heavy messages about wanting to reunite and reconcile. 
and it completely and totally freaks you out. It does. It freaks you out and puts you in the high priestess energy because um, you think differently now, right? You think differently about this person and about this situation. You've had a personal transformation with the tower in reverse, right? And this person wants to come in and, and totally and completely change everything again right? They're coming in with m passionate messages with the page of wands about happiness, success, vitality, the ace of wands wanting to start a brand new passionate beginning, death saying, I've changed, we've changed, let's change this relationship, the hierophant in reverse, uh, giving up some of what you used to think about all of this, being strong because you have to work through the thanks, but no thanks, maybe it's been a long time, but you you want some truth with the king of swords you want truth and you're not settling for anything less than that they might come in with passionate little sexy messages or something that sparks your fire but and it may tingle for a second but you're real quick going to snap back into the king of swords and you're going to say no like i said earlier it stops here i'm not doing anything because this is all a bunch of bullshit right the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This represents you right now. See, you used to hold title in this person's life. You used to. Hence, both Six of Cups that are way back here in all of these cards. The Lover's card. The Devil right? The, the eight of cups. You used to hold title in this person's life. You used to be the Queen of Pentacles, but you're not anymore, right? You're not anymore. And that is... That's the truth that you want to talk about, right? Before you are willing to give your love in this situation, before you're willing to entertain the King of Cups, which is also the card of Scorpio, by the way. We have two Scorpios in here, just saying. So, um, yeah, the, the King of Cups, right? Before you will accept their love or before you will give your love, you want some answers and you want some truth about things before you even begin to start to uh, reunite and celebrate with someone. And this could also be saying that you do get truth. You get truth, right? You get truth about what happened and now your love is free to reunite and reconcile with this person. However it goes for you, it's a general reading, right? You know, if, and, or, but, instead of who, what, when, where, why, and how. So that's your reading, Taurus. That is your reading. That is your reading. Wow. I hope it was a good one. I think it's a good one. <laughs> I think it's a good one. I like it. So what are we going to read about down the road here? What are we going to read about? I think... I want to read about how this person feels about Taurus. That's what I want to read about. How this person feels about Taurus and what it is that Taurus can do to... Um, what your, your advice is in this situation, right? What's your advice and what does this person think about you? And whatever else comes out in the cards too. So there's a link in the box below if you want to follow me over there. It's only two dollars fifty cents. It was two bucks last time, but um, they're taking they take like eight percent. It's crazy. It's crazy. Vimeo does right. And I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for the whole pro little package series, and they still take a shit ton of money out of my stuff. So. $2.50, and you can thank Vimeo for that. Nevertheless, um, $2.50, and um, we can uh, explore this some more, okay? I am just going to clean this up and keep recording, and we'll meet you over on Vimeo or the video. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about doing Gumroad this time. I really am. It might be a Gumroad link because, yeah, I don't know, but whatever. There's a link in the box below. Namaste.